Welcome back to Ozarks Live. If you love farm animals and you love to read, then this is perfect for you because our friends from Gooseberry Bridge Farm are here with some of their friends. Some are animals and some are clearly not because we're here with Kizzy Roberts, who's a local author. And you actually wrote a book kind of inspired by these creatures that we're seeing right here. Yeah. Um, Talk to us about it. Okay, so this is my um, latest book. Uh, it's from my Animal Clues Guess Who series. Okay, so you've uh, got a whole series. Yeah, and this okay. is the third book in the series right now. Um, it's called Farm Animals, appropriately. Fitting, very <laughs> yeah. fitting. Fitting, and um, so yeah, the, we actually went out to Gooseberry Bridge and took some pictures of their animals. That's so perfect, look at have... that. So, ooh, <laughs> that is, again, Alex the chicken. Yeah. Alex, look, this is your moment, buddy. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> he feels very good. He feels yeah. very good. That's so fun. And then we've also got... S'mores. S'mores the bunny. Yeah. That's yeah, so fun. Thing. Buddy, that's yeah. you. <laughs> this is your five seconds of fame. Yeah. <laughs> so, so talk to me. What made you want to write this book? Um, so I was kind of inspired by a few different things. Um, a game when I was actually at elementary school that we used to do with one of my teachers where you had to come up with clues for something okay. and, you know, like four clues and try to guess it before in as few clues as possible. Yeah. And then also reading books with my toddler, there's a lot where they'll show a small picture and then you turn the page and you see the full animal. Yeah. Um, and so I just wanted to take it one step further and provide a lot more facts about the animals. I like that. So they're learning while they're having fun with it. Yeah, so like for the bunny, there's um, okay. like some- My teeth never stop growing. Sometimes I eat my own poop. That yep. happens, listen. I am raised for meat and fur. I have long ears and strong back legs. What am I? Yeah, and so then, um, so for younger kids, you know, you can do all the clues and the picture. Oh, yeah. For older kids, um, you're either just reading the clues aloud to them. Don't show them the picture, yes, you know. Yeah. Um, and then even a little bit older, like the seven, eight-year-olds, they could be reading on their own. Yeah. So there's the challenge that. And then when they turn the page, they see. So they see the picture, they yeah. see the answer, and then and they're given some information mm -hmm. about it. It kind of expands on all four of the clues that were on the previous page. Gotcha. Talk to me about so. some of the books, because this isn't your first one. This is your third Yeah. The third in this series, um, so I also have forest animals and polar animals. Okay. Uh, and then I also have um, cha a chapter book series that I have two books out on that, and it's also animal themed. Listen, you see a theme here with find, animals. Li listen, if you find a theme, <laughs> stick with it. If yeah. that's what feels right. Well, how long, like when did you get into writing? Has this been something um, you always kind of wanted to you don't dive I into? I did. I always enjoyed writing, even as a student. And yep. My teachers were very encouraging, but it was something I kind of got away from. And then just in the last, honestly, it's probably been the last 10 years, I got back into it. But just the last couple years is when I really said, you know, I'm going to do this. Yeah. And um, with uh, along with my friend who's been writing forever, um, we started learning Spark Educational Publishing. And so that's what we publish all the books gotcha. under. That's so awesome. they're all supposed to be uh, fun for kids with you know, some educational okay, aspect. Okay, now listen, that second fact about sometimes I eat my yeah. own poop, I can tell you right now my nieces and nephews would just absolutely yep. die over that. That's the funniest thing to them always, and adults, oh, which is fine. for sure, kids. How fun was it collaborating with Gooseberry Bridge Farm on this? Oh, it was it was great. Um, you know, it was just so fun to get out there and take pictures of the animals and then be able to see them in print, you oh, know? Gosh, like, yeah. Just see a finished product with our own pictures that we took. Of course, guys, yeah. how was it for you to know that uh, they're kind of just rising to fame now. <laughs> it's cool that they're getting their moment, right? Yep. <laughs> we don't want the fame to go to their head, though. No. Oh, no. And there are a lot more animals than just these two. These are the only ones that we wanted to yeah. bring uh, off bring. the farm today. Yeah. yeah. We didn't want to bring a cow in here. Yeah. That's, you know, I don't think our general manager would be a big fan, but I would. So, you know, maybe that's next time. Okay, Kizzy, if people want to follow along, if they want to find your books, what's the best way to do that? Uh, they can find them on Amazon. Um, they're also available Wherever books are sold, you can That's search for Kizzy Roberts or search for the series. But Amazon is usually easiest. Listen, we, but we you, know how it works. <laughs> but, that's but you can go to your local uh, indie bookstore and request that they order the book. That's awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This was so much fun. You guys did perfect. I know you're going to take off here soon. We're probably going to see them on like the Today Show. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, we're going to check back with Tom at Springfield High School football field. So, you know, football's gonna happen. We'll be right back.